how to level up fast in Cyberpunk 2077. Today I'm going to show you what you should do in the world of Cyberpunk to level up your character and your abilities quickly. Welcome ladies and gents, Ivan the German is back for you guys and today I'm going to show you how you can level up fast in Cyberpunk 2077. It's simple, you can do it right after you finish the prologue, it's after the first minutes of playing Cyberpunk and it's very easy and it's a very useful method. So you are here on the Inside Gaming channel. If you're new to this channel, we make videos about how to improve your gaming performance and gaming experience. That's why you should subscribe to this channel right after you left your apartment and if you open up your map you will get overwhelmed by a lot of those symbols and it's very good because you can see what you can do without exploring anything and you want to watch out for those ncpd criminal assault reports why the assault reports because you can finish them very quickly I would also recommend do the organized criminal activities and the reported activities because you get a lot of experience by doing that and you get a lot of stuff early on. If you are not sneaking around it just takes a couple of seconds to finish those events and you get credits and experience reward. Furthermore you will level up your street credibility. The street credibility is very important to get very nice and very good stuff. I will make a video about the legendary katana which is one of the best items especially a melee item in the game and you can get this katana very early on. Furthermore you will get a lot of stuff as I said you can level your abilities, you will get credits by finishing those events and you will get credits by looting all bodies. You can loot all bodies and they will have good stuff. Even if you're entering the area where a criminal activity is reported, you can find as a reward stuff around there. So use this, use this option and use this early on to be well equipped and to have some credits in your pocket. You can combine this method by running around and finish all criminal activities with slaying the gang members around this location. Especially I found out Arayo is a very nice place for that because a lot of small groups are just standing around talking to each other and you can slay them and punish them, kill them very easily or hack them or do whatever you want to train your abilities. So they are staying together by groups in two or three, four people and you can kill them quite quickly. Combine that with the assault, gain a lot of experience and credits. And this one is a bonus for all of you guys who watch till the end of the video. You can combine this method with another small glitch in the game. By entering a Ripper Dog, you are going to lose all your police warrant and that's a very important thing. Because at level 3 of your police warrant, there are going to spawn two robots. Those robots are very easy to kill because they have such low life. It's very easy to do that. I'm going to show you that with a very bad pistol skill ability and bad pistols and you can see how fast you can kill those robots. So my favorite place for doing this method is at the Kabuki market because right there you have a lot of people to kill a lot of gang members and you can run around because there's a night market and this night market gives you great cover and you can chase especially and very clear those robots down and go to the ripper dock and reset the whole thing. You you can repeat this as often as you want because your ripper dog is close by and the area is very nice for doing this. So guys, if you enjoyed the video, give us a like to show the people we Germans can win least something and if you like, that would be nice to show the world. See you in the next video guys, have a good one.